the inquiry. Who put Og's name forward? Um, the process to find the appropriate justice uh, goes following a, a protocol that was established with the Canadian Judicial Council, I think in 2010, in Mr. Harper's government. Uh, the government doesn't pick up the phone and call sitting justices to ask what their plans are over the next 18 months. That's not uh, how this process works. We follow the protocol where the chief justices of the relevant courts are consulted. I had a number of conversations over the summer with uh, Chief Justice Wagner, uh, the Chief Justice of Canada. I was very grateful for his advice, uh, his guidance. I shared that advice and guidance with my opposition colleagues. Um, so we think we have arrived with the full support of the opposition uh, at the best person to lead this inquiry. Justice Ugg uh, came to us highly recommended by other jurists. Obviously, her Chief Justice, the Chief Justice of Quebec, was very supportive. Um, so we look forward to this work commencing as quickly as she can uh, get the commission up and running. Does Justice Hogue have any national security experience? Does Justice Hogue have any national security experience? Justice Ugg uh, is a senior judge of one of Canada's most senior courts. Uh, the Quebec Court of Appeal, like the Ontario Court of Appeal, um, are very influential and important courts in terms of establishing precedence in Canadian law. Uh, she is a fluently bilingual senior jurist. Um, we had worked with the opposition parties to identify criteria that we commonly believe would be important uh, for a presiding officer of the inquiry. Obviously, the ability to conduct the hearings in a fluently bilingual fashion was important. Uh, we believe Justice Hogg has all of the necessary uh, experience, credentials, and judgment to lead this important work. That view was shared by some of the country's most senior jurists um, with whom we've spoken. And some of them have suggested that there is value also in finding a senior, credible justice who comes to this issue uh, with, a, with a fresh set of eyes, uh, without uh, a series of detailed experiences in this very space. Justice Hogg will not be reviewing uh, particular items that she may have decided uh, as a justice, for example, in the designated list of federal court justices who are regularly involved in some of these very issues. So one of the interesting pieces of advice that we got from senior jurists is that um, there perhaps is merit to having somebody come to this uh, important undertaking uh, with a fresh perspective, and obviously in her independent judgment, the ability to retain whatever experts, uh, whatever counsel she believes uh, is necessary uh, for the Commission to do its work properly. Mr. Scheer, you spent a lot of time as a party and your leader denouncing David Johnson, calling him a ski buddy with a fake job and so on. Have you looked carefully through Marie Jose Hogue's background to make sure she's got no links to the Prime Minister through the Trudeau Foundation or anything else? And having asked that part, if that is the case, can we see a much more productive process going forward? Well, you rightly point out that Justin Trudeau's first attempt to deal with this was to sweep it under the rug by appointing a family friend and ski buddy with strong ties to the Trudeau Foundation. Uh, after he didn't get away with that, Conservatives kept up the pressure, and we arrive where we are today with, uh, with a process that, uh, that was more inclusive of, uh, of, of, uh, of opposition parties. And I can tell you that we do accept the nomination of Justice Hogue. Uh, so it is our hope that based on that, we'll actually get real answers, but we will not take that for granted. We'll continue to be very vigilant about this process, make sure the government complies and cooperates, and, uh, and that this actually produces the results that Canadians deserve about their democratic institutions.